The final college football playoff rankings are officially in, and the playoff committee got it 100% correct. In case you missed it, the top four goes Michigan, Washington, Texas, Alabama, with Florida State and Georgia just missing it, and if the entire purpose of getting the four best teams in the college football playoff was accurate, well, the playoff committee just backed that up. I've made a number of videos this past week talking about all the different playoff scenarios, but I truly think after what we saw during conference championship weekend, these are the four best teams in all of college football. We'll start off with the no-brainers. As I talked about in last night's video, we were all expecting Michigan to be number one and Washington to be number two, but the controversy was going to come with whoever was ranked three and whoever was ranked four. Last night, I talked about how I would have Texas and Alabama ranked at three and four, with Texas getting the slight edge because because of their head-to-head -head win over Alabama. And it looks like the committee was watching that video last night because that's the exact same four that they ended up going with. As I've said in previous videos, and I'll say again in case you're new to the channel, this is correct because Florida State is not currently one of the four best teams. I get it, they finished the season undefeated. They won their conference championship. This is unprecedented for the college football playoff leaving a team like this out. But the Florida State team that we currently have, they are not one of the four best teams. They would not beat Washington. They would not beat Michigan. They would not beat Texas. They would not beat Alabama. They probably wouldn't even beat Georgia or Ohio State, two teams that were left out of the college football playoff. It sucks, but that's just what we gotta go with because if we're being real with ourselves, Florida State would not stand a single chance in a playoff game. I was watching some of the playoff selection show before I recorded this video, and Kirk Herbstreit said something that I thought really, really made sense that I'm sure a lot of you need to hear. This isn't just a personal Florida State vendetta, we're not singling them out on purpose. If Washington lost Michael Penix Jr., we would probably be leaving Washington out of the equation. If Michigan lost JJ McCarthy, they potentially would be out as well. If Texas lost Quinn Ewers, they might be out. And if Alabama lost Jalen Milrow, they'd probably be out as well. Quarterback is the most important position in all of football, and it's not even close. Without your starting quarterback and having to rely on a backup, things completely change for the aspect of the team. I guarantee you that the four playoff teams, if they didn't have their starting quarterback, they would not be anywhere nearly as good. And unfortunately, that's just the reality for Florida State. They don't have their starting quarterback, and their backup and third string haven't done anything to really give us confidence that they can go out and win a playoff game against one of the best teams in all of college football. It's also not not like we're taking two teams that have no resume and putting them in as well. You have Texas, who had one of the more impressive victories of the entire season as they went to Alabama and knocked them off. Oh yeah, and that's a team that just made the college football playoff. Meanwhile, you shift things over to Alabama, that's a team that just picked up arguably the biggest win of the entire season as they knocked off the number one team in the country in Georgia, giving them their first loss in 29 games. And those two teams showed they are deserving of being the best. I think the committee got these matchups right, and considering this is going to be the final year we get four teams, you want to make sure you have the four best, considering next year, there might be some teams that aren't as deserving that are going to crack the top 12. So, now that we have the official matchups, who's going to win the college football playoff? I don't know. I think this is the most competitive top four we've gotten ever since the college football playoff began. We'll start with Michigan and Alabama, and man, if you're a Michigan fan, you were probably really, really pissed off that you were given Alabama instead of Florida State. I mean, had they gotten Florida State, Michigan might have been favored by, I don't know, 10 to 14 points. Now that they got Alabama, what I'm currently seeing on social media, it looks like they're only going to be a two and a half point favorite. So it's nearly a pick em, and it's considered to be anyone's game. Obviously, it's tough to make a decision right now, but man, I honestly don't know which way to go at the moment. You think Michigan should be the easy favorite, but the way Alabama's been looking as of late and coming off this win over Georgia, you just can never bet against Nick Saban. So the fact that we're getting these two blue bloods in the Rose Bowl most likely, man, this is going to be some contest. Then you look over at the other game, and you're going to be getting Washington versus Texas. Last I looked, it has Texas already as a four and a half point favorite, so Washington is a big underdog once again. Now, if I would have told you prior to the start of the college football season that we would get Washington versus Texas in the college football playoff, you probably would have thought I was out of my mind. But that's just the beauty of college football, that anything can happen on any given year. And I 
think this is easily the more intriguing matchup because I could see this game going either way. We're getting a Texas team that has been rolling and they're coming off a couple of dominating victories. Meanwhile, with Washington, they haven't lost a single game this year and they're coming off a very impressive upset over Oregon. Both of these offenses could strike for 50 points on any given game and both of these defenses are insanely good as well. I mean, seriously, both of these playoff matchups are absolutely insane and I truly think this has a chance to be the greatest four-team playoff we've gotten since we made the switch a decade ago. I'm sure I'll have more videos in the coming weeks talking about these games, but if I'm giving my way too early predictions, I'm going to go with Alabama upsetting Michigan in the Rose Bowl, and I'm going to go with Washington taking down Texas in the Sugar Bowl. Now, that gives me a national championship of Alabama and Washington, and you know what? I was high on Washington to start the year. I talked about them back in May and in June, being a potential playoff threat and a national championship sleeper. So although I wasn't a man of my word and make a wager on that and put my money where my mouth is, I'm going to go with Washington taking out Alabama in the national championship. But honestly, looking at these four current teams, you can make the easy case for any four to win the national championship. That's how good these four teams are, and that's how competitive I expect this college football playoff to be. So, what are your thoughts on the committee going with Michigan, Washington, Texas, and Alabama? Was Florida State screwed over, or do you think it truly should be the four best teams at the moment? Also, I didn't even mention Georgia on this list. They went from 1-6 to six by losing by only 3 points in the SEC title game. I think that's actually pretty crazy, and I definitely think Georgia could have had a case also to be a playoff team as well, but unfortunately, we only have 4 playoff teams. I mean, just imagine if we had a 12-team playoff this year, how loaded that would be. You would still have Florida State, you would still have Ohio State, you would still have Georgia, and you'd still have Oregon as well, teams that I think could definitely make a run to the top 4. So I'm really looking forward to the 12-team playoff next year, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, because we're only at four this year, a number of teams, well, they gotta get screwed over. So let me know your thoughts on the top four. Did the playoff committee get it right? Did the playoff committee get it wrong? If you think they got it wrong, let me know in the comment section who you think the top four should have been. I'm sure we're gonna keep things civil in the comment section below, but I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. I'm gonna be interacting with all of your comments, so whatever your thoughts are on the entire playoff situation. Also, let me know who you think's gonna win the playoff. Let me know who you think's gonna win these matchups. There's a lot to say. There's a lot I wanna hear from you guys, so whatever your thoughts are on everything, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications if you're new to my channel. If you love college football, this is definitely the place for you. Also, don't forget to drop a like on this video as well. It helps out with that confusing YouTube algorithm and helps share the video with more college football fans. Plus, it only takes a second to do. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you all in my next video.